Good morning, Chris Whedon from the Center of Business Excellence, Building Better Businesses. Today, I want to talk to you about a couple of lessons coming out of the Rugby World Cup. Now, it's probably too soon for some people. There's a lot of pain, there's a lot of anguish. There's some people that are elated, some people that are you know, sad. I want to talk to you, though, about some of the lessons that we can take out of this uh, phenomenal global showpiece. Certainly some of the lessons I'm taking out of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first thing, and, and, and the whole purpose of, of today's short video, is to talk about what it is that gets people absolute success, the, the problem to solve to deliver your best possible success. I want to talk to you about that. And, uh, and it's really it's about focusing. It's about knowing who you are, what you're good at, not what someone else is good at, knowing your strengths and absolutely going 100% to make sure that you, that you get that right. That's for me. There's plenty of other lessons, of course, but that for me is the biggest lesson coming out of, out of the Rugby World Cup. Know what you're good at and go for it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. A couple of things that, that happen if, if one doesn't go for one's own strengths, if one tries to do everything, you know, be everything for everyone. Firstly, you never get to reach your full potential. You never get your full gifts, your full talents properly utilized. You can't quite get there. You can't quite get over the line, right? Because you're not playing to your own strengths. You're not knowing who you are. You're not going for it. So that's that's point number one. Point number two, directly from that, is that almost certainly every business person I've come across is frustrated when they're not playing to their strengths. They're trying to do something. They're trying to be someone they're not, right? So if you're trying to be someone you're not, it's going to lead to frustration. And I think the third thing, which is which is unfortunate, but it's that people get overwhelmed. They get time poor because they're trying to do a whole bunch of stuff instead of trying to just focus on one thing, right? So they never get to reach their full goal, their full potential in themselves because they can't use their talents that they are uniquely gifted at. They get frustrated, potentially they get overwhelmed. And the third thing is that they get time poor because they're trying to do so so many things. They're trying to learn things. The, the converse of that, right, by knowing who you are, by absolutely say, going at your strengths, and remember, I'm going to come to this in a second about the, the Rugby World Cup, is that all of your effort gets, uh, gets focused, gets uh, aligned, right, because you're going after the same thing you know what you're good at. It becomes easier and easier and easier to do. Why? Because you become unconsciously competent at what you're doing. You know who you are, you're going after it, and you keep going after it. It becomes natural to you, right? It's some people talk about the flow experience. We're just in it, and we can go and do it. So that's the, the second massive benefit. And then the third thing is, <laughs> bluntly, you end up smashing barriers because you don't know what you don't, what you, what you can't, uh, what you can't achieve because you're so good at naturally doing what you're do, doing, right? So massive, massive opportunity there. I'll give you a quick story, though, <clears throat> excuse me, which kind of sums it up. Working with a client in the Hutt Valley just up the road here in, in, in New Zealand, and they've been in business for a little while now, started off as a one-person show. Uh, they make PC boards. They happen to be in a particular industry. And I was going around their factory the other day, talking to them and said, you know, you do so well at, at what you do over here. Why don't you step into... You know, they happen to be in a particular industry. Why don't you step into the second and third and fourth industry? And David, the owner, turned around to me and said, you know what? We're very good at what we do. We know what we do. We know this industry. We're actually a global brand <clears throat> coming out of the Hutt Valley. They're about a $60 million business. They're going to go to probably $100 million. And it's because they know what they're good at and they focus on what they're good at. They're not trying to be everything to everyone. And that just to sit back. Right now, they're innovating around product. They're innovating around process. But they're not trying to be everything to everyone. They're good at what they do and they're going for it. So that, you know, it's a, it's a lesson that we can take into all of our businesses. Let's just think for a second. You can see behind me on, on the wall, uh, the success formula for life. It's very, very clear. Dream, goal, learn, plan, act, right? Whatever your dream is, go for it. Understand it. Know what it is. Be very, very clear on your goals, right? Then learn what you need to learn, right? And that's obviously important. Plan it and plan it to the nth level of detail and then take action. When I say know what you're good at um, and practice, right? The old uh, golfing analogy, the better I, the more I practice, the luckier I get to practice, practice, practice. So know what your strengths are, know what it is that you want to focus on and be very clear on that. Why did I say this is a lesson from the Rugby World Cup? Well, we've just seen South Africa win for the fourth time. Frankly, yesterday's game, there was, there was, Nothing in it. New Zealand must be gutted. I'm gutted for New Zealand. I live here. This is my home. Um, and it's tough. It's a tough lesson to take, right? After the 2019 World Cup, I read Sia Polisi's book, and he made the comment that South Africa has no plan B, right? They have no plan B. They have plan A. And if that plan A doesn't work, they go back to plan A again, and they practice and they practice and they practice and practice until they're good at it. And then eventually it does work. 
Now we've seen that yesterday. We've seen it with the seven-one bench split, right? If you if you're into rugby, you've seen it with the seven-one bench split. Massive risk. How many of us would put all of our eggs into one basket? Probably you know, the wisdom says, oh, don't do that. And yet they did it. They came out of 2019. They said, we have no plan B. We know what we're good at. We plan to our DNA. If you again, if you follow sport, that's a big deal. Um, and it's not, they're not uniquely like that. If I go back several hundred years, when Cortez, the Spanish explorer, went to the New World, what did he do? He scuppered the ships to make sure no one could get back on the ships and disappear. They were committed, right? They were committed to getting done what they believed needed to get done. If you take someone like Ernest Shackleton going to the end of the world uh, as, a, as a polar explorer, massive, massive, massive attention to detail, very clear knowledge of what he wanted to achieve, very clear knowledge of what was required, what their skills were. They went through massive hardship, but he was very focused on what he was going to be good at and what they were going to be good at, and they got it done. So there's lessons coming out of, out of that sort of stuff. There's lessons coming out of sport. Know what you're good at. Double down on it if you need to. Don't let people distract you. Don't try and do a whole lot of things on the side. There might be opportunities, of course, to, to improve on the side. No one, I'm certainly not suggesting you don't do that, but know what you're good at. Double down on it. Remember, there's often no plan B. Take the risk if you need within the learning, right? Remember, we're saying dream, goal, learn. Absolutely got to learn. Plan to the nth level of detail and then take action. So don't take stupid risks. That's not what we're suggesting, not what I'm suggesting, but know what it is you're good at. Make sure you do it. Play to your strengths. Don't try and play to someone else's. You can't walk in someone else's shoes, right? Play to your strengths. What happens? Everyone on your team gets aligned behind it. The whole 15 or the whole 23 or the whole 33, if you want to go to the bigger squad, gets aligned. You end up with massive team performance. You smash barriers. You potentially redefine the game. You redefine the game that you're in business. And in your niche, no one can beat you. Right in your niche, no one can beat you. So, if those things are interest, of interest to you, if those lessons coming out of the Rugby World Cup resonate with you, resonate with your business, give me a call, drop me a, a direct message, go onto my website. Let's see what we can do in your business to make your business the best it can possibly be. Have a fantastic day. All the best. Bye bye.